Well, they just seem to mesh. Mm -hmm. The Cubans are a super senior couple who have a zest for life but and there, love. There have been some bumps in the road, though, as Joe Carroll found out. On an unusually warm winter day, Sally and John Cuban enjoy a stroll on their 250 acres of land in Benson. Look at what those moles have done. Along with their dog, Ruby, they're going to a barn where John spends some of his downtime. And that's, just, that's just the thing I worry about, is his splitting. John, who's 92, hasn't slowed down even after a tractor accident. Probably not too bright at times. More on that in a bit, but first some history. But growing up on the farm, it was just, uh, I guess, everything. I loved it. John was born in the same house the couple lives in now, an only child on a small dairy farm. It was a good life. John was a good student who went to the University of Vermont. What's this? While still in school, he got called up from the reserves in 1943 and went off to war. John never saw combat, just the after effects. He was put in a medical corps unit and treated the wounded. After the war, he went back to UVM, but he had a wild side. The dean said it was time to go see the world, in a sense, booting him from college. He didn't go far, becoming a lumberjack in the Adirondacks. That's where he met Sally, working in a hotel. He was a character, and uh, I'd never met anybody like him before. And we were married, what, just about a year later? Yeah. Sally was a teacher, and John went back to finish his degree and spent most of his career as a pharmaceutical salesman. They raised three kids and have been married for 66 years. But we just um, seemed to be compatible. compatible. <laughs> and there's, you know, and I think there's nobody else that I, I can imagine being married to. And it's just, I guess you call it love. The tractor was a test. Six years ago, it nearly killed John and changed Sally's attitude towards their marriage. That's my nemesis. If you can imagine that big tire running over him. He was standing on the ground and turned on the ignition, but the tractor was in gear. And all of a sudden, he was on the ground and, oh. John had a fractured pelvis and broken ribs. He spent almost four months in the hospital in a nursing home recovering. I all of a sudden became much more independent. She <laughs> found out she could get along without me. And assertive. And um, he noticed the change, and, and I said, How well, did he deal with that? He didn't. He didn't like that. Is that true? To her new independence? I guess I did. <laughs> Sally, who's in her 80s, found a strength she never knew she had. John has accepted Sally's more assertive side. They have lived in the old homestead full time since 1990. You've kind of come full circle, haven't you? Yeah. We hope a little more of the circle left. <laughs> <laughs> a journey that proves you can go home again. There we go. Joe Carroll, Channel 3 News. Benson.